Here we have a field ecosystem made of biotic and abiotic factors. The biotic factors in an ecosystem can be classified according to how they obtain chemical energy. Chemical energy is just a fancy name for food. Some organisms are classified as autotrophs. They are self-feeding and are able to produce their own food. The tree, the grass, the bushes, and the flowers are all classified as autotrophs. We can also refer to them as producers. Producers use light energy from the sun through the process of photosynthesis to produce their own chemical energy. All other organisms are classified as heterotrophs. A heterotroph cannot make its own food, so it feeds on others. A heterotroph is an organism that relies on other organisms for food. Heterotrophs can be classified according to how they obtain their chemical energy. And there are two main categories of heterotrophs, consumers and decomposers. Decomposers are one type of heterotroph. They obtain food by chemically decomposing dead organisms. Fungi and soil bacteria are the decomposers of ecosystems. Consumers are also heterotrophs. Consumers eat other organisms to obtain chemical energy. Consumers can further be classified according to what they eat. An herbivore is a consumer that eats plants, or producers, for food. A carnivore is a consumer that eats other animals. Carnivores are also classified as predators because they're hunters. And most herbivore species are classified as prey. These are the species that get hunted by carnivores. A third type of consumer is called an omnivore. Omnivores are consumers that obtain chemical energy from both plants and other animals. Some consumers are scavengers. They're not hunters because they don't hunt the meat that they eat, but they consume the remains of dead organisms left behind by predators or organisms that died on their own. Understanding the roles of organisms in an ecosystem helps us to see how organisms interact with, compete with, and rely on each other.